Welcome back, Burnout Teachers. Today's lesson will be about the children's book, P for Palestine. P is for Palestine is an alphabet book for kids that exposes them to the beautiful and rich culture of Palestine. And I think it's so important to use this book in your classroom because it represents Palestinian culture, which is something that is highly underrepresented not only in early childhood education, but across educational institutions. When this book first came out, there was quite a bit of controversy about it. A children's book about the ABCs is sparking controversy in one New Jersey town. It's called P is for Palestine, and while the author says it's meant to teach people about Palestinian culture, critics say it promotes anti-Semitism. Specifically, a Jewish community in New Jersey said that the book was anti-Semitic. According to Dictionary.com, a Semite is a member of any of the peoples who speak or spoke a Semitic language, in particular Arabs and Jews. So Palestinians and Arabs more generally are Semites, so how are we going to be anti-Semitic if that we are also included as Semites? It's a symbol. It says that it's okay to have books that teach little children to hate. We must unpack this argument because it is one that has been used historically to delegitimize the struggle and self-determination of Palestinian of the Palestinian people. It's being used to teach little children about how great the Palestinians are, and we should murder the Jews. Palestinians are in no way against Jews. There are Arab Jews who exist. Judaism is a religion, and it should be celebrated just like any other religion. What we are against as Palestinians is Zionism, an ideology that attempts to ethnically cleanse and exclude Palestinian people from their land. And that is something that is separate from the religion of Judaism. And there have been so many Jews who have been at the forefront of resistance for the Palestinian people's self-determination and right of return. And as a Palestinian, I can tell you that when I was growing up, there were very few books about Palestine that were in English. This is a children's book about children who have basically no books written about them in English uh, in this country. Because I grew up in the U.S., I didn't know much Arabic. And so it would have been really useful for me to be able to connect with my Palestinian identity to see a book that was in English about Palestine. I was lucky to have my dad, who's Palestinian, who would read me books in Arabic, but there was, there was no literature at the time that was available about Palestine in English. So I feel like this book is so valuable and it means so much to me. But her choice of using intifada as the I word is raising eyebrows. It's anti-Semitic and I'm telling you, the Jewish community here is up in arms. So people don't understand what intifada means. Intifada means resistance. The women's march is intifada. If you have students or parents who may be offended by this book, I think that really needs to be a point of discussion for your class, your students, and your parents to all really unpack some of the biases that exist in our education system and really to understand that our classrooms must be a space for all students to feel represented. This is not about just my book. This is about our First Amendment.